This is our Opal. Uh, I bought it from the Aldi, I think. And it's his first year giving some drop. Some. Yeah. And let me. Oh, it smells. It smells nice. Yeah. Four out of ten. I can tell that they smell a bit. Is the smell, uh, yeah, a little bit uh, like a flower, but not much a strong fragrance like uh, the other one. That was the uh, Yasmin like. Yeah, very yeah, weaker, much weaker. Today is Friday, 31st of July 2015, and this is a video about the uh, plum variety opal. Opal, I bought, it, I bought this one, I think, from the Blackmore Nursery. I'm sure, but probably Blackmore Nursery, yeah. And uh, yeah, I was hoping that's uh, okay, something a little bit earlier than the uh, other plums. And as you see, it's 31st of July, so we have an early plum now, as was promised. The plum is ready now almost, and I'm going to taste one, just to see which one is a bit more riper. This one looks a little higher than the other, so I just go for this one. The plum looks like this, it may be not completely ripe, but I will just give it a go. Okay. Um, yeah, it's soft and a bit not completely ripe. Um, not tasteless, but has a faint taste. Mm. As you see, the flesh is yellow. It could be better. It's a little bit slightly sweet, slightly acidic, a little bit bitter at the end. You feel it, plummy bitter, like a bitter um, almond. But uh, it's a plum. Mm hmm. It's not bad, it's pleasant. Yeah. Um, if I keep it for a while, probably it will taste better. Of course, when it's chili, that makes it a good difference also. That's the way the stone looks. This is an update on the plum variety opal. As you see, it is uh, ripened more. I've continued to water it and I tasted one and I'm saying that this is now sweeter than what it was before. Before that, it was almost tasteless. A little bit sweet, but mostly tasteless. Now it is more sweet and it's getting better. And I'm thinking that if I harvest it when it is one week or 10 days time, uh, when I chill it out, that may really improve the taste also. But this is early now, it is ready. It's, today is the 4th of the August, I think. And uh, this is ready to be eaten almost and enjoyed. Yeah, plum variety, opal. This is the pride of it. Look, it's lower, but it's heaviest bunch. It's almost like a bunch of grapes. As heavy. Okay, today is the 9th of the August 2015. It's Sunday, and we are going to harvest this plum. What's the name of the variety, Susan? Um, oh, <laughs> okay, it's a plum. It's but I will tell you, it's opal. <laughs> yes, opal is the earliest plum that we have in the, the allotment, in our orchard. So, it has given some crop, the earliest crop that we can have. The tree, I bought it from Keeper's Nursery. I looked in my notes, that's a Keeper's Nursery. When I bought it, it was two years old. Now it has, in the second year, given some fruits. And as you see, it's really heavy, so I have to put some stakes under it. I'm going to leave the little ones to fill up a little bit more. Yeah, if you want to. Yeah. Uh, Just pick the riper ones. I'm picking the, the riper ones. They feel lovely and soft. Do you want to taste one of well, them? Well, I will. I'm a high. Mmm, they're lovely. Are they sweet? Mmm, they're sweet, soft, and ripe. Okay. Mm. I think that with your sunglasses, you don't see actually which one is ripe because I, I see no you're one. picking down ripe ones. <laughs> Everything looks ripe, um, huh? <laughs> 
<laughs> Everything does look right, but they're fine. Maybe they're called opal because they may have that colour of sort of mauve yellowish. It's just characteristic of a mineral called opal. Yeah, um, this is a kind it's of like course, two-toned, isn't it? Yeah. So I don't know that. I'm just guessing. But no, that's that's gonna be right. That's right. The taste of the little plums that are. And we have our automatic system, based on the atmospheric pressure, watering the tree. I feel the them to see it. if they're soft, and if they're soft, I'll pick them. Yeah. Don't want to leave them too soft, or they go rotten. That one is not right, I think. If you have difficulty with mm -hmm. that, that one's this not one right. is right. Yeah. No, that one's not right. Just give them a few more so days. So, how much you think this has? How many grams or pounds or cube? Um, will it be one kilogram okay. or more? It will be, this container will hold two kilos of fruit, so let's see. Oh, in volume wa of water, you mean? Two liters? Mm. Or so, I mean, fruit weighs different weights, but... Density it, is a little bit higher than yeah, the water. Yeah, the densities change, the volumes change, but... We can actually test it to put one of them on the water to see if it floats. Well, they didn't float. Just That's hold it. This is our water tank, and I put it just to see if it floats. No, that is definitely denser than the water, so it didn't float. Um, no, the plum is here, it didn't sunk. Oh, right. it, it's sunk, it's sunk, so it is denser. So two liters, but maybe four kilos. You yeah, go. probably a little bit. It's hard when you um, sell things in weights, isn't it? Yeah. Not one year. So definitely this is more than two kilos. Two liters is two kilos. Could be. But uh, when you have something denser than the water, that means it you would have. Plums are quite heavy, I suppose. Oops, you're falling. They look lovely. Yeah, I saw something well, fell. The trees really... I'm going to leave. No, that one's not fine. This is like a grape bunch. Do you like to take a photo with this? <laughs> photo shoot. <laughs> I'm going to take a few because I'll leave some. Yeah, that's a better way to, to ripen later. They'll ripen later, they get thicker, I think. Let me help you with that. We can just thin them out a little bit. Oh, what a beautiful watch you have. Thank you. Oh, mm -hmm. Who bought it for you? <laughs> <laughs> Where you bought it, by the way? I think that was in the... We have advertising now. <laughs> no, don't worry. <laughs> Don't advertise. <laughs> Let me have a go. Mm. Oh, beautiful. Sweet, a little bit tanning. And that means there will be bitterness of the but plummy bitterness. It's pleasant. The leaf is out and ripen on the window sill. But we need to They will not ripe. Well they won't ripen on the tree properly, will they? They will. If you leave them, but pick the ones that are yeah, they already ripe. So they will grow a little bit bigger if we thin them out. Whatever we cannot eat, I will just can them or freeze them or something. Oh, then make a sauce. Oh yeah, we can make a leather also. Oh, I love leather. My sister used to make. When I was a kid, uh, always in summers we had leather, fruit leather. You just dry, make a puree, make a puree, then then spread them in a tray and let them to dry. And that is leather. Mmm, mm, mm. this was very nice. Do you think we can take more of this? This is really heavy. I want to make it lighter. Okay. Just take the bigger ones and leave the smaller ones to that enough to pick now. Well, that's the best one. We've done alright though, we've got quite a few kilos. 
Yeah, I think that's exactly two kilos. Mm. I need to see the black berries, but I have blueberries yeah. Okay, so now the tree can have a little bit of rest until everything finished, of course. We have yet some crop on this, as you see. We are keep them just ripen on their own time. Okay, opal thumb. I can say this is about probably two and a half to three kilos. And yet about one and a half kilos remained on the tree. Okay, Susan, uh, we have some opal plum left, uh, and I think that's all the actually are ready to harvest. These ones are ready. Yeah, that's soft enough. Oh, let me harvest one also. Mm. How that's it tastes? Lovely. There is another one there Sorry. beside it. Okay, I'm going to have this. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to the planet. I don't think there is uh, enough for harvest all of them. No, no, but no. These ones were ripe. Um, and we can see them when they are ripe and they have enough sunshine, they are sweet. They can't ripe all at the same time. I no, think. I think that's a good thing that they didn't ripe on at the same time. Okay. <laughs> but what makes me worried is that this branch is broken. Uh. It's so heavy, isn't it? Let and us harvest this. Bring upon it to them. Yeah. Oh my goodness! What is it? Oh, it's a medler. Oh, it's a medler. It's uh, John's little um, cherry plums from cherry last plum. year. God, I oh, didn't God. know he had them. Do you mean this is uh, all last the year. last year yeah. it was here? Right at the bottom of the freezer. They're not freezer burnt. They look no, okay. they look alright. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to boil them up and make some nice syrup. To go in with my homemade jogger. So oh, that's what's going to happen to these. Yeah, what a nice today. surprise for this. Oh, day. yeah, you're lovely. The Saturday, stars, yeah. 3rd of the December. Yeah. <laughs> Plum from the last year's summer. Yeah. This is now 2016. Last year was 2015. I suppose since July they are there. July, August. August, yeah. Interesting. I think the variety is actually, these are opal. That tree this year didn't give any fruit, but last year it had plenty of fruit, and this is from that year. Oh, lovely. <laughs> we found a pack of the frozen uh, plums from the 2015 at the depth of the freezer. I guess they were opal plums, which we had an abundance of the crop. Now, I am boiling them. To make a mixture that we can add to the yogurt. Of course, the stones are inside it and we have to sieve it, probably. <laughs> 